Hi, welcome to part two of my vlog series, Not a Single Cherry Blossom in Sight, Cherry Blossom Festivals in the Bay Area. We're going to Davis. <laughs> Kelsey Kishimoto. I'm an independent artist based in the Bay Area of California and it's April which means there is an abundance of cherry blossom festivals happening around here and I made it my personal mission to join as many as I possibly could. In part one of this vlog series you saw me selling in Elk Grove or Sacramento if you're not familiar with the area and in part two we're headed to Davis which is fabulous because I am based in Vacaville and this is possibly the shortest commute I've ever done for an event besides VacaCon. Like it's only 20 minutes and we love a short commute. What we don't love however is poor weather especially for an outdoor event and we've got the worst of it for this vlog yay <laughs> yeah, a whole week before the event I was following the weather and like literally every day it just started getting worse and worse like higher percentages of rain and the temperature dropping and so going into it I was super nervous but I also have been following this event for a year and I saw like last year's and I heard good things about it. So I felt like people were gonna show up anyway, but do they or do they not? Is this event worth it? Do I freeze my butt off? I don't know, find out in today's episode. Mm, Pokemon, the journey continues. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning. Um, <laughs> first off, I got bangs. They're messy right now, but I promise they're cute. Uh, we're here, we're at Davis. We are under an overpass which is actually really nice because as you might have seen, it's raining right now. And here's our spot. Ta-da! Don't have to do a canopy setup, which is great. Um, obviously weather might be a bit of a factor, but I like to think people will show up anyway and maybe the, light, the rain will lighten up. But we're gonna get set up and hopefully that'll warm me up. <laughs> Because the Taiko drumming team is old. 
you're so good. <laughs> you still have fun even when you get older. All set up the festival has officially started there's a decent amount of people here considering how cold and wet it is so thank you davis for showing up i think today will be okay i'm i'm not super worried if anything it's gonna be fun i just i'm obsessed with taiko drummers so i'm i'm excited to be listening to them all day It's 11.51 and we have covered booth with one purchase again. I love these cheap booths. They make, they make it so easy to cover it. <laughs> Latest business expense is our square terminal. Finally got one. Bought it off of um, Cinder Cake at a discount and it's still like pretty brand new. So this was a really good investment, I think. I'm excited to use it. Give us an update. It's cold. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh. It's 1 p.m. I swear it's just getting colder and colder. Um, it looks like the rain has stopped, but I don't know. The temperature just keeps dropping. Okay, here's my my attempt at warmth. I've built a barrier because <laughs> the wind is blowing in this way. It's helping a little bit, but. It's cold! It's warmer down here. It's 2 o'clock. We are not even halfway through the event. We're here till 8 tonight. And I am currently, if you cannot tell, I am under the table. I have discovered this is a great place for taking naps, but also when it's freaking cold and windy, this makes for a nice refuge too. Man, if I just had like a blanket and pillows, oh, this would be great. Coming to the rescue with coffee and jackets and blankets. <laughs> no pressure, just be beautiful. I mean, I am like so fluffy right now. We're all so attractive right now in all our oh 20 million layers. Thank you. No, you're good. Don't worry. 
cute. Yay! Thank you, Fran. Hi. Tell me about your Shiba when you get it, okay? <laughs> I don't know where it's been. <laughs> this is a cute claw machine. Where'd you get it? eBay. Ah, I've, I've never seen one that's Sumiko themed. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Come on. Well. Oh, it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'd actually get anything. <laughs> Yay! I caught them. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one do you want to pick? Um, let's do this one. This one? Okay. You can open it. Okay. I get the brown chicken. Brown chicken! <laughs> He's so cute! Yay! <laughs> Honestly, it hasn't really affected the turnout of this event. Like, there's still been a great number of people coming in. And if anything, I think the rain makes them hide out in the overpass or the underpass longer, which is where we are. <laughs> so this is a great event, even despite the weather. I think the only thing it affects is how long people stick around. I've talked to a lot of people who do what they need to do and then they dip, which makes sense. But. Still good for business, just not if <laughs> not if you're these ice cream people and you know Kona shave ice over there. <laughs> Rough day for them. <laughs> okay, I just saw someone post something to their stories about how Sudwerk Brewery, the, the place that's hosting this event basically, they have like a, they have like a special cherry blossom brew, like a, a can and a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go see if they have any left. Oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> there was like a bundle deal. I don't, I don't even drink, what am I doing? I just think the cans are so pretty. I think my dad will like this, so I'll give him some. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's five o'clock and it has actually gotten warmer. Um, I think there's just less wind, so it's less like biting. But I mean, probably this has something to do with it too. And this I'm sure, but I feel actually comfortable now, despite the fact that I can still see my breath. One of my favorite things about this event has been all the performers. Um, here in under the overpass, I've gotten to listen to a lot of the taiko drummers, which like is my personal favorite. But there's also a tent with like live bands and they've been pretty great too. Like this event has just been stacked with live performances, which is really cool. Off. Guest star. <laughs> we are all sold out of mystery bags. I didn't make very many because at the last event I didn't sell too many, but I should always be prepared. It's hard to predict what kind of audience, which audiences are really going to like mystery bags, but next time I'll be more prepared. It's seven o'clock. Ironically, it's warmer than it was in the afternoon, once again. Um, we are officially past carrier con numbers and we're more like in um, Lodi Comic Con numbers. So this has been a really great show. Uh, one more hour left and I think we could pass the mark that I'm hoping to. Just need like 30 more dollars for me to cross that next line. Thank you, Davis. I think there's 
there's maybe like one more performance left over here across from the gallery because um, I do see people sitting around waiting and the band over on this side did just stop their last performance so <laughs> I think I think we're still gonna stick around till 8 I know some people are packing up early but we're probably gonna stay till 8 and then it's not that far to me anyway of Davis Cherry Blossom Festival for us. It's still going on tomorrow, but tomorrow will be a whole batch of new artists. So, thank you, Davis. Okay, so Davis Cherry Blossom Festival. Was she worth it? Yeah, it was pretty great. So things I really liked about this event. Table fee was great. The lineup of live performances was great. I mean, you saw me having fun. I love live music, especially live music that won't get me in like copyright problems <laughs> when I'm vlogging. The organizers did a great job of handling the rain and their volunteers because I've seen <laughs> like I've seen smaller problems occur at events and organizers not handle it half as well as they did. They were very flexible and they were still really cheerful even as they were working with us. So to the Davis team, thank you for everything that you did for that event. It ended up working out splendidly. Like I had so much fun. Little fun fact, my dad is retired military, Air Force, and we were actually based in Japan, Misawa, for the first four years of my life. And despite being really young, I still remember a lot. And one of my most vivid memories is summer festivals in Japan. Like I remember playing those games that you watch in anime where they like try to scoop up the fish. Our fish always died. I have vivid memories of like walking through streamers and all those different kinds of things. And while it wasn't exactly the same, it was so nostalgic for me to like, see that kind of stuff. It was just, it was a really cute event and there were so many good things about it despite the weather. When it comes to what could have been better, like obviously the weather was not the best, but like, I don't, no one can control that. Um, it was ridiculous though. I think that was the coldest event I've ever sold at. And I've sold in San Jose when it was snowing before. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, it was a great event. Um, profits were pretty great too, obviously. Not quite Elk Grove Cherry Blossom Festival numbers, but more like Lodi Comic Con, which if you watch that vlog, I was really happy with those numbers too, so. 
very happy with this one. I can't believe we're already halfway through the Cherry Blossom Festival vlog series though. It makes me kind of sad, but my next one's actually gonna be in San Francisco at Bay Area's largest Cherry Blossom Festival. And I'm actually going to be partnering with Three Pillars. They're a store based in the Japantown area and every day of the Cherry Blossom Festival, they've been hosting a different artist and they asked me to set up a pop-up at their shop on Saturday. I'm so excited. This show is so competitive to get into. I was able to participate in last year, but this year I just didn't quite get in. So when Three Pillars reached out to me, I was so stoked. Like any way I can be a part of this event. I'm so excited. Also, I've been following the store for a long time already. So like, and I think they're so cool. So I'm absolutely so humbled and privileged to be a part and I'm super excited to be there. That's also gonna be our next vlog in the Cherry Blossom vlog series. Followed by the last in the vlog series, we're headed to San Jose for Nikkei Matsuri. Now that's just for April though. As soon as May hits and the weather starts warming up, events just, start popping off and I've got a lot coming up in May through June. In fact, I've got I think six, six or seven back-to-back -back events from May to June. And one of those days is a double event. Ooh, I, <laughs> I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly, I'm so excited. Me and Cody, we love, love doing pop-up events. So we are so ready. And if you wanna see that, make sure that you subscribe and that you like these videos so that you can be notified about when those next vlogs are coming up because we are gonna be busy this summer. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to leave a comment below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Tell me what you thought about this event. If you've ever participated in cherry blossom festivals, if six back-to-back -back events intimidates you or excites you, I would love to know. And I will see you in the next video and hopefully the one after that. And the next Next one and next one because I want you to stick around because I like making these videos. Okay, bye. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my shirt. Move chair. Isn't she cute? This is from the brewery. This is the <laughs> this is the shirt and the beer combo that I bought. Which, by the way, I drank the beer last night and it was gross. But now I have a pretty can for my bottle and can collection. So you do what you gotta do. Cutie cutie. Oh, also I'm alcohol intolerant, so that's fun. <laughs>